Hey guys, this is Nick from Android and me. We're taking a look at the new ZTE Grand S here at CES. The device was just announced. It's expected to go on sale in China later in Q1 of this year. Uh, there are rumors that it's going to be going to Europe as well, but doubtful that it's going to be coming to the U.S. Uh, take a look at the hardware here. It is a beautiful device. Actually, the, the design of it is a little bit unique compared to what we've seen from other Chinese manufacturers over the last couple of years. Uh, definitely nice in the hand, extremely light, which is uh, unexpected considering the size of the device. Uh, the glass here is set on top of the rest of the body. It has uh, pins here for connecting. It has a SIM card slot on the side, micro SD card slot on the other side, volume rocker, power button, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top. Uh, take a look at the device itself. Um, it is running Android 4.1 with their own customized version of Android. Uh, we have an unlock screen here. You can unlock it two different ways. You can press and hold the unlock button or not. Yes, it Press and hold the unlock button and it will unlock like that. Uh, or else, if you simply touch the unlock button, it gives you a variety. It does give you a variety of options if you hold it. It's just not working for us right now. Um, it has a custom user interface. It has a couple of different skins you can apply to it as well. Uh, they have you know, their own set of widgets, everything like that. Um, the device itself seems a bit laggy. We've played with a couple of them here at the booth. And there are a couple that are like barely working at all. And this is actually the most responsive one we've been able to play with. Uh, as you can see, it does have, uh, if you can see, it has buttons at the bottom of the screen. Uh, but they do have these floating system buttons here uh, that you can move around if you want and then they pop up and give you the option to you know, jump to the home screen, uh, go to menus or settings or launch re recent applications. Uh, other than that, uh, it, it looks like it's running stock-ish Android uh, throughout, but there, there are subtle tweaks here and there. Again, that's a look at the ZTE Grand S here at CES.